Hi everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a challenging but all levels backbending and hip opening class. If you enjoy these classes, please remember to like, subscribe and share or tell a friend. And if you want to know more, if you've got class requests or any feedback, let me know in the comments or on my Instagram. We're going to get started today in the center of the mat in a kneeling position. Starting in a comfortable kneeling position, close down through the eyes. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose, fill the lungs, fill the belly. And then big open mouth exhale. Seal the lips, maybe inviting in Ujjayi Pranayama. On your next inhale, open the heart to the sky, baby back bend. As you exhale, bow forward, tap the forehead. One more inhale, open the heart to the sky. Exhale, tap the forehead. Inhale, open the heart to the sky. Exhale, tabletop position. Inhale, cow belly breath. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow belly. Exhale, cat. One more like this. Inhale, cow belly. Exhale to cat. Keep the right knee bent as you inhale, cow belly breath, send the foot to the sky. Exhale, round tap, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, cow belly breath, send the foot to the sky. Exhale as you round, right knee taps right elbow. Inhale, cow belly breath, foot to the sky. Exhale, round knee to elbow. Take two more. As you inhale, foot to sky, stay here, or take the left hand, reach it around for the inside edge of the right foot. Kick the foot back into the hand, and as opposed to thinking of coming deeper into your back bend, think of engaging the quad and the glute, seeing if you can lift the leg a little bit higher, reach the sternum a little bit forward, a little bit more forward. On your next inhale, send the arm and the leg long. And then as you exhale, sweep the arm and the leg out to the side. Keep them at the height of the hip and the shoulder. Inhale, reach it long. Exhale, sweep to the side. Three more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sweep. Two more. Keep the right leg off to the side, set the left hand down, set the right foot down off to the side, and then send the hips back for a modified child's pose. Maybe you walk the hands forwards a little bit more. Take an inhale, open mouth, exhale. Inhale, come back into your tabletop position. Exhale into a neutral spine. Inhale, cow belly breath. Exhale to cat. This time as you inhale, keep the left knee bent, send the foot to the sky. As you exhale around, tap left knee, left elbow. Inhale, foot to the sky, cow belly. Exhale, round knee to elbow. Take three more. Keep the left hip above the left, uh, sorry, the right hip above the right knee. Time as you inhale, left foot to the sky, stay or reach the right hand back through the inner edge of the left foot. And once again, think of kicking the foot back, reaching the sternum forward, engaging the back body. Mm -hmm. 
on your next inhale, come into spinal balance, reach the arm and the leg long. As you exhale, sweep them off to the side. Inhale, reach long. Exhale to the side. Three more. Inhale long. Exhale, sweep. Two more. Keep the left leg off to the left. Set the right hand down. Set the left foot down. Send the hips back to the right heel. Maybe walk the hands forward. Take a full cycle of breath. And then as you inhale, come forward, set the left knee underneath the left hip. Inhale into your cow belly, tuck under the toes. And then as you exhale, lift the knees to hover, send it up and back into your first downward facing dog. On your next inhale, ripple forward into plank pose. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, dog. Take three more like this. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Open up through the hips. Draw the right shoulder down in line with the left, and the left heel down towards the floor. No tension in the face. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, shift forward, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, open up through the hip. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, take it back. Three more like that. Inhale, three-legged dog, keep the hips neutral. Exhale, shift forward, single leg plank. Shift to the outside edge of the left foot as you drip the right toes behind, lift the right hand. Vashistasana variation. Inhale, sweep the right arm to the front of the room. And then as you exhale, you're going to connect right elbow, right knee. Inhale, step that right foot behind as you reach the right arm long. Exhale, connect knee to elbow. You can always drop the left knee if you need to. Inhale long. Exhale, connect. Two more. Inhale, Vashistasana. Send the right foot on top of the left. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale, shift forward. Elbows hug the belly as you exhale. Lower slowly all the way down to the floor. Set up baby cobra. Inhale, peel the chest forward. Pelvis presses into the floor. Exhale, roll it down. Take four more like that. Think of leading with the nose and then the sternum. Exhale, think of reversing the process, peeling yourself down segment by segment. Two more. On this last one, you're going to hold. Loop the shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze the elbows into the body. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. And then maybe lift the hands to hover. No strain in the lower back. Back of the neck is long. Two more breaths. Plant the hands, tuck under the toes. Inhale, plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Sweep the left leg up on your inhale. Open up through the hip. Left heel to glute. Right heel towards the floor. Left shoulder draws down in line with the right. Take one more inhale here. 
And then as you exhale, shift forward, tap left knee, left elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, send it back. Three more. This time as you send the leg back, three-legged dog, neutral pelvis. And then as you exhale, start to rotate to the outside edge of the right foot. Drip the left toes behind. Sweep the left arm up. Vashi starts in a variation. Inhale, sweep that left arm forward. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, left foot drips behind. Left hand reaches. Exhale, connect knee and elbow. Three more. Inhale, full Vashi Stasana, left foot on top of right. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, elbows hug the body. Slowly lower all the way down to the belly. Untuck the toes, bring the hands into a skydiving position. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, keep the hands in this cactus position as you lift the torso up. Keep the feet pressing down. Inhale, lower it down. Exhale to lift. Elbows in line with shoulders, wrists in line with elbows. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Take two more like this. Make sure that you're not just gripping through your lower back. Feel the work coming from the upper thoracic area. Exhale, peel it up and hold it. Inhale, shoot the arms forward, keep the feet down. Exhale, draw back to your cactus. Inhale, shoot it forward. Exhale, draw it back. Three more. No tension between the shoulders and the ears. Plant the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck under the toes. Inhale, tabletop or plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look towards the hands, start to walk the feet wide so that the feet come to the outsides of the hands. Turn the toes out slightly, start to sink the hips down. Malasana yogi squat. Gentle pressure of the elbows to the insides of the knees, if any. Use the strength of your glutes to bring the knees in the same direction as the toes. Take a few more nice deep breaths here. You can always roll up the back of your mat or use a block to sit on here. One more breath. Keep the feet wide as you inhale, come all the way to standing. Feet parallel, exhale, fold forward. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, hands up the shins, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands for the first one. Step back to plank, lower either halfway or all the way. Flip the toes, inhale, upward dog or cobra, your choice. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward dog. Step walk or float to Malasana. Inhale here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to stand. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step walk or float to Chaturanga. Land with bent elbows. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale, downward dog. Step, walk or float to Malasana. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale to stand. Exhale to fold. 
inhale lengthen exhale chaturanga inhale back bend exhale downward dog step walk or float to malasana inhale exhale forward fold inhale all the way up two more rounds exhale to fold inhale lengthen exhale chaturanga inhale back bend exhale dog step walk or float inhale exhale fold inhale raise exhale fold inhale lengthen exhale chaturanga inhale back bend exhale down dog step walk or float to malasana inhale exhale fold inhale chair pose exhale to stand inhale chair exhale fold inhale lengthen exhale chaturanga inhale back bend exhale downward dog step the right leg forward line up heel to arch for warrior two as you inhale exhale cut all the hands down take it through your vinyasa option to keep the right leg floating Step the left leg forward, set it up for warrior two as you inhale. Exhale, take it down and through your vinyasa. Step walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, to stand. Four more rounds. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Always feel free to skip. Exhale, down dog. Right leg steps. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, vinyasa. Left leg steps, inhale, warrior two, exhale, vinyasa. Step walk or float, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold, inhale, chair, exhale, stand, inhale, chair, Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, down dog. Right leg steps. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, through your vinyasa. Left leg steps, inhale, warrior two. Exhale through your vinyasa. Step walk or float. Inhale, exhale. Inhale chair, exhale stand. Two more rounds, inhale, exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale right leg inhale exhale inhale exhale left leg inhale Exhale, inhale, exhale, 
the focal fluid. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Right leg steps. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Left leg steps. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Step focal float. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, chair pose and hold. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind you. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Three more breaths here. Keep lengthening the lower spine. One more inhale. Exhale, keep the interlace forward fold. Keep your knees really, really bent as you bring the torso onto the thighs. And then see how much you can straighten the knees, keeping your belly attached to your thighs as much as you can. Release the interlace, sweep the arms up, inhale, chair, exhale, fold, inhale, lengthen, exhale, take it through a vinyasa, inhale, sweep the right leg up, open up the hip, stay here or start to bring that right foot towards the floor, flipping your dog, wild thing. Take one more inhale here. As you exhale, plant the right hand, tap right knee, right elbow. Listen carefully. As you inhale, you're either gonna come to that open leg, uh, open hip three-legged dog, or you're gonna flip all the way into your wild thing. Exhale, tap right knee, right elbow. We're gonna do four more of those. Inhale, flip it and reverse it. I really wanted to say that. <laughs> And then as you exhale, tap right knee to right elbow. Inhale, open leg down dog or wild thing. Exhale to tap. Two more. Last one. This time you're going to set the right foot to the outside of the right hand coming into your lizard lunge. Turn the right toes out on an angle. Option to stay on the hands. You can come to the forearms. Maybe you lower the back knee. I invite you to take some movement back and forward, side to side. Find the areas that are kind of stuck in your hip. But that back leg is very, very active, lifting away from the floor. If you came down onto the forearms, come back down onto the hands, plant down through the left hand. We're going to step the right toes all the way behind the left foot, coming into that Vashistasana variation. Inhale, sweep the arm forward. Exhale, connect knee to elbow. See if you can keep that knee to the elbow as you step the foot all the way forward. Drop the back heel. Inhale, come up, warrior two. This time we're gonna hold it, so set up your alignment point. Make sure you can see your big toe and your front knee is not projecting way forward of the ankle. Make sure that your shoulders are above your hips and your um, shoulders are not bunched up in through your ears.
take your front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior, exhale, warrior two, inhale to reverse, exhale, warrior two. We've got three more. Keep the alignment of that front leg. Don't let the right knee collapse in towards the midline. Last one. Keep the right hand coming down towards the floor. Side angle pose. Option, right forearm, right thigh, but don't sink into it. Think of pressing the thigh away. Right hand can be to the inside of the right foot or the outside. A block is also an option. Think of lengthening the bottom side of your torso and maybe sweep that left arm forward towards the front of the room. Keep engaging the right glute and relax the face as the quad definitely starts to burn. Take the left hand to the left hip, start to look forward, take the right hand forward maybe with your block and then start to hop that left leg up coming into half moon pose. Option to keep the hand on the hip or you can open that left hand up to the sky. The right toes are pointing forward and there's a micro bend in the right knee. Think of spiraling the right side of the rib cage towards the left side of your mat. Option to hover the right hand if you want to challenge your balance. As you exhale, you're going to start to rotate the torso down towards the floor. We're coming all the way up to standing, so neutralize the hips first. Come all the way to standing. Keep that left leg floating behind you for Natra Jasana preparation. Option to reach the hands up and in front of you, bringing the back bend into the whole spine. one more inhale as you exhale you're going to fold all the way forward slowly coming via warrior three into your standing splits option to stay here drawing the right hip up and back or if you have handstand or you're practicing your handstand hops whoopsie you can feel free to destroy your patio at your leisure not have this today. If you manage to make it upside down, which I did not, you're going to float that right leg down, step the left leg all the way to the back of the mat, step the right leg back, single leg plank, exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the floor. Bend the knees, flex the ankles, interlace the hands behind the back, forehead comes down to the mat, Inhale, peel the shoulders away from the mat. And then as you exhale, keep the thighs down, but send the fists towards the back of the room. Two more breaths. Keep the thighs glued down to the mat, but engage the hamstrings as if you could draw the heels to the glutes. Inhale, plant the hands, exhale, plank or tabletop, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up, open the hips, stay here, or flip your dog, wild thing. One more inhale. As you exhale, plant the left hand, tap left knee, left elbow. 
inhale come into that open hip down dog or wild thing exhale knee to elbow we've got four more This time, step that left foot to the outside of the left hand, turn the toes out and come into your version of lizard lunge. You can always have blocks underneath your forearms and the back knee can always be down. If you came down onto your forearms, come back down, come back up onto your hands, plant down through the right hand, spin to the outside edge of the right foot as you drip the left toes behind, coming into your Vashisthasana variation. Inhale, sweep the left arm forward. Exhale, connect knee to elbow. Keep the connection as you step that left foot all the way to the top of the mat. Spin the back foot down. Inhale, setting up for your warrior two. Nice long hold, so set up your alignment points on this side. Make sure you keep the alignment of that front knee. Flip the front palm. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Side bending. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Open up the left rib cage. Exhale, warrior two. Three more. This time as you exhale, bring it all the way through into your version of side angle pose, keeping that knee alignment, lengthening the lower back and the left side of the torso. Circle right hand down to right hip. Take the left hand forward as you start to hop that back foot up into your half moon pose. Gentle bend in the left knee. The toes are facing forward. And this time the left rib cage will spin towards the right side of the mat as maybe the right hand reaches up. Strong engagement through the right glute. You're not gripping through the lower back. Start to square off the hips and torso towards the floor and then start to bring yourself all the way up to standing on that left leg. The right foot keeps reaching back behind you, coming into Natra Jasana preparation, engaging the right glute and hamstring. Maybe you reach the arms up and overhead. Take one more inhale and then exhale slowly with control coming through your warrior three all the way down into your standing splits. Option to stay here, option to destroy your patio lights again if you want to take a handstand or handstand preparation. Get 
maybe you need to move off your mat into an area where there are no obstacles. If you manage to come upside down, you're going to plant that left foot, step the right foot all the way to the back of the mat, send the left leg back to a single leg plank, lower slowly all the way to the mat, elbows hug the body, interlace the fingers the non-dominant way behind the back, bend the knees again, forehead down as you inhale, peel the shoulders away from the mat. And then as you exhale, this time you're going to try and lift the thighs without letting the knees splay off to the side and see if you can send the fist back between the calf muscles. Unless you have ridiculously long arms, they're not going to get there, but that's the general direction that you're working in. Take an inhale, keep the interlace, send the legs long. Exhale, plant hands, tabletop, tabletop or plank. Downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step walk or float to Malasana. Option to stay here or option to come into crow pose, snuggling the inside edges of the knees to the backs of the triceps leaning into your chaturanga arms and then lifting one or both feet. Gently grip the mat with your finger pads to act as brakes. Option to step, walk or float back to chaturanga from here. Inhale into your back bend. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up, open the hip, option to flip to wild thing. Exhale, tap right knee, right elbow. One more time, inhale, flip your dog maybe. This time option to come to Kundanyasana. As you exhale, bend into the elbows, right leg comes to back of right tricep and you extend the right leg either forward or to the side depending on your hip orientation. Plant the left foot down, inhale, back into your wild thing or your open hip downward dog. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. This time you're just gonna step the right foot behind Coming into our Vashistasana variation, inhale, sweep the right arm forward, exhale, connect knee to elbow. Keep the connection, step it all the way forward, inhale, warrior two, exhale, sink lower. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior, exhale, side angle pose, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. Just one more like that. Keep the engagement of the right glute as you inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle pose. This time, straighten out the front leg. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, as if someone's pressing your right hip crease to the back of the room. Triangle pose. Right side of the torso lengthens and there's a micro bend in the right knee. If your hand is on your shin, you're not pressing down into your shin, you're just resting it there. Option to stay here, option to float the left arm forward, and then maybe the right arm forward coming into a power triangle, keeping length through the spine. Look towards the front of the room, start to bend the right knee, keep the right knee tracking forward as you engage your glute, coming up into your half moon pose. Option to stay here or bend the left leg, reach back for the outside edge of the left ankle 
and come into Chapasana Sugarcane Cane Pose. Like we did in that bow shape at the start, I want you to think more of kicking the foot back into the hand and as opposed to just really deepening the back bend, think of lengthening the back bend. If you can, you're going to keep a hold of that ankle, start to square off the hips and shoulders towards the floor, and then come all the way up to standing, keeping the heel in towards the glute, drawing the knees in line with each other. Feel free to stay here in the quad stretch, or start to kick that foot back into the hand, reach the right hand forward, coming into Natra Jasana. Hips and shoulders stay facing forward. One more inhale. As you exhale, slowly release the left leg. Reach the left hand forward. Come through a warrior three. And then as you exhale, plant the hands. Option to stay. Option to play with your inversions. Option to take a headstand or a handstand or anything else that you're working with. If you came upside down, you're going to plant that right foot, step the left leg back, inhale into your single leg plank, exhale, lower all the way down onto the floor. From here, you're going to extend your right arm forward, right leg will come back, bend your left knee, take the left hand, reach it for the outside edge of the left foot. We're going to do just what we did. We're going to do what we just did, except we're going to do it on the floor. So take an inhale, and then as you exhale, start by kicking the left foot into the left hand. Lift the torso, keep the thighs down. If this is feeling fine, stay here. If you want to take this further, you're going to start to lift the left thigh, lift the right hand and the right thigh, kicking back into an Ardha Dhanurasana. On your next inhale with control, release that left foot, reach both arms and legs long. Exhale, plant the hands, plank or tabletop. Inhale here, as you exhale, dolphin pose. Drop the elbows as you send the hips up and back. Feel free to hang out here in your dolphin pose. If you have a pinch of my and a practice that you're working on, make sure that you have enough room and you can feel free to take that making sure that the elbows don't splay out super wide and you're lengthening the hips or the lower back away from the shoulders Ooh, just not doing super well today i always seem to pick surfaces that have like a very mild angle in one direction and it really seems to throw my inversions but that's okay take a couple more breaths if you came upside down we're all going to meet in a forearm plank plant the right hand down Drip the left toes, plant the right forearm down, drip the left toes behind. Inhale, baby bashi stasana modification. And then as you exhale, forearm plank, lower the hips, sphinx pose. Draw the elbows back towards the body, reach the sternum through the gateway of the arms. One more breath. 
As you exhale, you're going to tuck under the toes with control. Lift the hips back into your forearm plank. Walk the feet back in for your dolphin pose. And then press the floor away. Lift the elbows up, coming in to your downward facing dog. As you inhale, sweep the left leg up. Open up the hip. Maybe flip the dog. Wild thing. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, flip your dog. This time, option to come to Kundinyasana. As you exhale, bend into Chaturanga arms. Left leg to the back of the left arm. Plant the right foot down. Inhale, flip your dog. Exhale, left elbow, left knee. This time you're just going to step the left toes behind the right knee. Inhale into our Bashi Stasana variation. Exhale, connect left elbow and left knee. Keep the connection, step it all the way forward. Drop the back foot. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale here. Flip the front palm. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. Keep the alignment of the knee. We've got four more. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, side angle. Three more. This time as you inhale, start to straighten that front leg, reverse your triangle. And then exhale, left hip crease moves towards the back of the room, triangle pose. Unlock your front knee, lengthen the bottom side of your torso. Feel free to stay here or sweep that right arm forward, maybe sweep the left arm forward, coming into a power triangle. Look down, take the left hand down, step it up, half moon. Stay here or start to bend the right knee. Take a hold of the outside of the right ankle and kick back into your chapasana. Start to rotate the torso down towards the floor, ground down through the left leg, come all the way to standing. Draw the right knee next to the left, option to stay here for the quad stretch, otherwise reach that left hand up, start to kick the right foot back into the right hand, coming forward into Natra Jasana Dancers Pose. Slowly releasing into your warrior three, sending the right leg back, the left arm forward, torso parallel with the floor, and then coming all the way down into your standing split. One more option to play or stay. If you're taking a handstand and you're familiar with scorpion, you can start to bring the um, toes towards the back of the head by bending the knees, lengthening through the lower back and sending the sternum towards the front of the mat. If you came upside down, slowly reverse the process, planting that left foot down. Step the right leg to the back of the mat, left leg back to a single leg plank as you inhale. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor. 
send the left arm forward, the left leg back, bend the right knee, grab a hold of the outside edge of the right ankle with the right hand. Keep the feet hips distance apart. Set the forehead down, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, keeping the right thigh down to start with, just kick that ankle back into the hand and see how that lifts the shoulder and the chest. If this is feeling good, stay here. Otherwise, engage the glute and the hamstring. Start to lift the right thigh, maybe lift the left thigh and the left arm. On your next inhale with control, slowly release the hold of the foot, reach both arms and legs long. Exhale, plant the hands, plank or tabletop, inhale. As you exhale, one more time, dolphin pose. Walk the feet in towards the elbows, option to stay here. Or one more time, option to play with your Pinchamayarasana, your headstand whatever you're working on. And again, if you have a scorpion in pincher, you can start to bend the knees. Think of reaching the sternum through the gateway of the arms. And think of bringing the toes towards the back of the head by bending the knees, as opposed to just dumping into the lower back. Wherever you are, slowly make your way back into your dolphin pose. Lengthen it out into a forearm plank. Drip the right toes behind the left knee. Inhale, baby vashisthasana. Exhale, plant the right forearm, lower the hips. Sphinx pose. Two options here. You can just take a quad stretch, otherwise we're going to come into out of the pasana. So you're going to angle the left forearm across the mat, bend the right knee, take the right hand back, thumb up towards the sky. Option, grab the inside edge of the right foot and just stay. Otherwise, start to spin on your thumb so that the fingers point towards the top of the mat. The right elbow will come up towards the sky. And then you start to square the elbows towards the front of the mat. Try and make sure that that right knee doesn't pop right out to the side. This is a very intense shoulder opener and quad stretch. If you have full Bakasana in your practice and you want to take both sides at the same time, you're more than welcome to do that. If you've got a hold of that foot, slowly release it. Come back to your Sphinx Pose, angle the right forearm in, bend the left knee, take the thumb up, thumb side up as you take the hand back, stay here or start to rotate the fingers towards the front of the room, elbow comes up to the sky. Oof, I am tired. what happens when you go to the gym a lot. Man, this is, this is painful. Slowly release your pose. Bring the forehead down to the mat. Take the hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck under the toes. Inhale. Exhale into your plank pose, back into your downward facing dog. Look towards the middle of the mat and you're going to hop your shins to the middle of the mat, coming into kneeling. Take a moment to sit on your shins, inhale, open the chest to the sky. And then exhale, fold forward. 
the strategy. Inhale, come all the way up to standing on the shins. Everybody start by taking the right hand to the heart, the left hand to the lower belly, and think of gently drawing those two points together to lengthen out through the spine. Keep that length as you exhale, hinge back at the knees, coming into our matrix camel or quad stretch in Pilates. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, lean it back. Take three more like this. Go back as far as you can without losing that connection between the ribs and the hips, the length in the back body. Option to keep going with this, otherwise we're gonna work into a strasana, starting by taking the hands into the back pockets, elbows draw together, inhale, open the chest to the sky, lengthen the lower back. Stay here, or you can start to walk your hands down the backs of the thighs, maybe tucking under the toes, maybe hands come to the heels. Maybe you can have the tops of the feet flat to the floor. If you're aiming for the hips to stay above the knees, and as the theme throughout the whole class, you're thinking of lengthening the back bend. Tuck the chin into the chest, put it in reverse, and then come back to sit on the heels, Vajrasana. Take a nice deep inhale. And a nice deep exhale. Before we make our way down onto our backs, we're going to take frog pose. Uh, Madra Jasana, I think this one's called. So face the long end of your mat. Come into a tabletop position. Start to walk the knees out as far as you can. You're going to turn the big toe side of your foot down to the floor and you want to keep your knees and your ankle in line with each other. So you're going to walk the knees out, walk the ankles out, knees out, ankles out, knees out, ankles out until you've come as far as you can. And then play around with shifting the torso forward and backwards until you feel where you want the stretch to be. Option to come down onto the forearms. I think somebody's just come to the house and the dogs are excited AF. <laughs> Take a couple more breaths here. And slowly start to walk the hands back in towards the body. There is no pretty way to get out of this. You've just got to kind of reverse the process. Just start by bringing the ankles in, then the knees, ankles, knees, ankles, knees. And then come back to your shins. Make your way to the top of the mat, cross over the ankles, plant the feet and slowly roll yourself all the way down onto your back. Setting yourself up for bridge pose, feet are hips distance apart, hands down by the sides of the body, take an inhale and then as you exhale start to roll up the spine, peeling off segment by segment. Engage the glutes and hamstrings. Option to interlace the fingers underneath you. Think of broadening through the collarbones and making sure that those knees are still facing the same direction as your toes. If you interlace the fingers, um, uninterlace the fingers and then as you exhale roll down through the spine option to do a repeat of bridge if you took the interlace take the opposite finger on top otherwise wheel pose chakrasana fingers come to face the shoulders elbows up to the sky take an inhale exhale roll to the top of your shoulders take one more inhale hug those elbows in and then as you exhale Press all the way up into your wheel pose. 
Make sure that your knees are still facing the same direction as your toes, they're not splaying in or out. If you need to turn your toes out slightly and take your legs a little bit wider, that's fine. Just make sure that knees and feet are facing the same direction to protect your knees. Feel free to stay longer if you want to, otherwise you're going to start to tuck the chin in towards the chest, come down onto the back of the shoulders first, and then roll down the length of the spine. Let the knees knock towards each other, maybe windshield wipering them from side to side. And then when you're ready, bringing the soles of the feet together, Supta Baddha Konasana. Take the hands behind the head, interlace the fingers, elbows are wide, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, slide the ribs towards the hips, coming up into a crunch. Inhale to release, exhale to crunch. We're going to take 18 more. I'll let you count because I suck at counting. I have two more. No, I don't. I have three. That's how bad I am at counting. I can't even go from 17 to 20. My God. Bring yourself down. Draw the knees in towards each other. Set your feet up for bridge pose again, except this time you're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee. So you're coming into a figure four. Take the hands down, and then as you exhale, press into the left foot, coming up into your figure four bridge. You can take reclined pigeon as well if you would prefer. You're trying to keep the hips in line but let that right knee really open up down towards the floor. Slowly lower the hips down towards the floor. Keep the feet as they are. Take the right hand off to the right. Take the left hand behind the head the elbow is going to stay wide think of shoulder to knee take an inhale as you exhale you're going to come up in a cross like a cross crunch think of the left elbow coming towards the right knee inhale set it down we're just doing 10 nine more You should feel your obliques here. Bring it all the way down. Swap it out. Take the hands down by the side. Plant the right foot. Cross the left ankle. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, press through that right foot. Lift the hips. Let the left knee open towards the floor. Slowly lower the hips down, keep the legs as they are, take the left hand to the left, right hand comes behind the head, elbow wide, inhale, and then as you exhale, crunch right, uh, right shoulder towards left knee, inhale it down, take nine more.
come back through center. Happy baby pose. Reaching for the outside edges of the feet. Drawing the thighs down towards the floor, letting the lower back spread wide on the mat. Maybe straightening out one knee at a time or both knees at a time at the same time. And then draw the knees in towards the chest. We'll finish off with a twist. If you want to take another hip opener variation, you can cross the left ankle over the right knee and then we're going to let the legs fall over towards the left using that left foot as an anchor on the right knee. Keep the right shoulder down to the ground even if that means that the legs don't touch the floor. Swap it out, cross right ankle over left knee, and then let the legs fall over towards the right, keeping the left shoulder down. And draw yourself back to center, squeeze the knees in towards the chest, roll the nose up towards the knees, take any other movements you feel like you need, otherwise when you're ready you're going to roll yourself up into that little ball, contract every muscle in your body, squeeze your face, squeeze your fingers, your toes, your abs, take a nice deep inhale, and then as you exhale let everything go, Shabbat. Come into whatever resting position is comfortable for you. And just take a moment to breathe. Let go of anything that is no longer serving you. Knowing that the to-do list is still going to be there when you get off the mat. You don't need to hurry to it right now. But also acknowledging that if you don't have time to stay in a really long shavasana or if that is not serving you right now then that is okay but listen to what your body is telling you listen to what your body needs As always, thank you so much for practicing with me. Please stay here for as long as you have time for or as long as it serves you today. Today, as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart. Namaste.